Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for tuning in. My name is Austin Farnham and today we are taking a look at the Rampone and Kazani Curved Soprano. This is the R1 Jazz in a silver plate. Uh, today we're going to talk about a little bit of specs, um, do some playing examples, and mostly I'm going to give you my opinions on the feel of this saxophone compared to other saxophones I've played and other Rampone and Kazani saxophones that I have played. So just in case you're new to the Rampone and Kazani brand, as I was not so long ago, they are an Italian company, a family business uh, that started back in the 1800s, one of the first saxophone builders in the world, and they have yet uh, remained a small company because they put so much attention to detail into their saxophones, and not just their saxophones, um, but their accessories and also their cases, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. The thing that really hit me over the head with this saxophone right from the beginning was just the amount of control. It's a wide bore system, um, which is great for jazz. Uh, it feels like you have a lot of power and punch in such a small instrument, um, but it also has such control. Like there's no sense that even when I'm blowing a ton of air that it's gonna spread the tone. It remains very focused, um, very warm, and uh, has that beautiful characteristic soprano sound. So this soprano I have here today is a silver plate over a brass and copper core. Um, the metals that they use in this, they went through, I researched, I can't remember how many different types, uh, different variations of metal to find the perfect amount of resonance um, for this saxophone, um, but it has a high amount of copper, which if you really nerd out on metal specs, um, great quality uh, alloy that's going into this of brass and copper over a silver plate, but you can also do like a bare brass finish. Um, they have a gold over brass. They have, um, you can even get a silver finish with gold hardware. Um, and they come in different shapes as well. So this is obviously the curved soprano, um, but you can get a straight soprano and also they have a half curved soprano. So the other thing I noticed about this instrument is something that is usually, for me anyway, pretty squirrely on soprano, which is intonation. Um, this can be a really wild instrument in terms of going from one octave to the next on a note uh, and having huge variation in your tuning. Um, and I noticed that this thing, once again, hand-built instrument, um, they go through this thing with a fine-tooth comb. Uh, you're going to find that the intonation on this, uh, any of their horns, is really incredible. All of the Ramponi and Kazani horns that I played have fantastic intonation, great playability. It's so quiet. Listen, listen. Like the key noise, I mean, other than the pad actually hitting the metal, like there's no extra spring noise. There's no, um, like not even a minute amount of movement in the palm keys. Uh, some professional horns. I've seen it. I've played it. Okay. And it's not the end of the world. Uh, there are great horns that have some extra key noise, especially vintage ones. Um, but it's just such a quiet instrument when you're working with really sensitive mics in a recording situation, um, that can be a huge advantage. Speaking of mechanics on this instrument, uh, particularly with the curve, the full curve soprano like this one, the key system you'll notice in the right hand, the lower stack, it's a little squished compared to a normal soprano. Um, it was something that I noticed right off the bat, this high pinky key here, okay, your right hand pinky key is a little bit higher up on uh, the, the key system. 
but like anything, you get used to it over time. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad thing, but when you're working with a compact instrument, the key system is going to be a little more compact, so it's something to keep in mind. I love that this is a brand new horn, and it just has sort of a matte patina on it already. It looks as though it's sort of a vintage silver horn. I like that because what's going to happen as soon as you play a saxophone, you're going to get fingerprints on it. Um, and so having those like super, super shiny ones, I just always smudge it and my OCD, it just goes crazy and it bothers me. Um, so I like the fact that this has a little patina already on it. It's hand engraved on the bell. Um, you have the Rampone and Kazani name with the R1 Jazz logo on the front. The other thing, when you open the case on this and see this horn for the first time, you just really get a sense of the craftsmanship and the detail. Like they even went so far as to round off, hand sand the, the cork on the neck, like just so that it has that perfect fit for the mouthpiece. Uh, and it's just a really smooth edge on there. Like every single element of this horn has great attention to detail. I love the handles on these. The construction on them is super, super sturdy. The zipper bag, like this is a tiny instrument. It's a tiny case. But look how big in comparison that storage bag is, okay? Like I can hold my neck strap, mouthpiece, reeds, all the accessories that I need in this case. You don't have to carry around a separate bag. Like it's got everything sort of built in. And that case is solid, rock solid, hard body. It is not soft at all. Like very sturdy, flight worthy case. Um, the handle construction is made out of thick metal. So you've got the zipper system, which is a heavy duty zipper. Um, and you've got the clamp and a lock on that as well. They put an attention to detail into their instruments, but they want to make sure that they're protected and you've got a sweet case to go along with it. The other thing that I love about these saxophones is that they come with a custom fit neck strap for the horn. So this is a very short neck strap for a soprano saxophone, specifically for this curved soprano saxophone. Um, I was comparing it to the half curved soprano and it has a longer uh, neck strap. So they actually custom fit that. Leather once again for the padding. Um, it's got a nice little cushion in there too. It's really comfortable, but my favorite thing my favorite thing about this is one, this like nice little wooden accent piece here. It is so functional. The way that you grab this thing right here, it just moves super smoothly, pulls down super smoothly. And you have a really nice carabiner. It's got some rubber padding on there to protect the metal on your horn. Um, but you know that your saxophone is going to be secure if you're one to use a neck strap with the soprano. So another bit that I wanted to talk about is just playability on this horn. Now, of course, this is my opinion on how I play saxophone, how it responds for me, um, but it is a wide bore system. It has a very open, sort of classic, beautiful soprano sound. Um, there's warmth in it, uh, but there is a ton of control. Uh, I feel like a healthy amount of resistance when I'm really pushing into this horn and it allows me to play out and play loud but I don't get a spread tone, like the core of the sound always stays true on any part of the instrument, high or low, and I love that about the saxophone. Listen, I know this is a review, and I'm supposed to give you the good with the bad. Um, I literally have nothing bad to say about this horn. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Uh, it looks beautiful. I'm a sucker for silver horns. I love horns um, that have all of the new mechanics. It's got a high F sharp on it, um, but it looks like a vintage horn. Um, hand craftsmanship, I mean, they really do spend the proper amount of time that it takes to build a great saxophone. Um, and this is no exception. I mean, it is just a fantastic horn. So you can check it out at palinmusic.com, the Rampone and Kazani R1 
Hey, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I also love reading the comments too, so make sure you leave a comment down below if you like this video. And if you wanna hear um, other details, you wanna hear me talk about the playability um, in, a, in a different way or talk more about the specifics of a saxophone for future reviews, make sure you leave that down below as well. Thank you once again for checking out this review on the Rampone and Kazani R1. Thank you.